town's 300 kilometres north of Cairns. We're a town of about 3,000 people. The Building Our Regions Fund was integral of us putting together our taxiway here, which is, runs parallel to our main runway. This is part of a project to develop an aviation park here in Cooktown. We just took advantage of the fact that Cairns is getting very, very expensive, Mariba's getting very crowded. We're the main airport between here and Torres Strait, I suppose you could say, a weeper. That airstrip out there, you can take a 30-seater Dash 8. Well, this new taxiway, I should say, has been constructed to be able to take about a 70 or 80-seater plane. And as a result of doing that, we've now got private enterprise where we're standing right now have invested well over a million dollars to build this build facility here, which is a service maintenance type engineering hangar and also a charter operation as well. The BOR funding has really been the fillet to allow us to move ahead, get things happening on the ground and letting people see that the opportunity is going to be there. There's always been an interest in um, people wanting to develop aviation businesses at the Cooktown Airport. Our airports have become a little bit busier, so Council are putting on more staff to work at our airports to fill in that sort of gap as well. There's been a lot of interest generated because of the taxiway. I can really see that the Cooktown Airport is going to get busier in the future so there's no doubt that there's going to be more jobs related to this taxiway. Without the taxi grade upgrade we wouldn't be able to build the facility and of course now we have the taxiway it's opened up all of the blocks along the taxiway so it's not just us it's anybody else that would like to come and build aviation facilities. It's obviously an engineering hangar, it's not a terminal as such, it's an engineering hangar. Heavy maintenance right through to changing the tyre on an aeroplane. This is about the northernmost maintenance facility in Queensland and possibly in Australia. It's certainly the northernmost facility in Queensland. Just to help us complete what we needed to do. Without the building our regions fund we wouldn't have had it done. So it's just integral to the uh, success and completion of the project.